Once we're on to our uh, Windows staging server, what we want to do is pop down here and start Internet Explorer. Whoops, that'll be up here, of course. Um, now we want to go to Google. Um, that's fine. And we want to search for um, Putty. Yeah, that'll do. Download page. There we go. So here's all the files that we're going to need. We want to download Putty. Save that. And Putty Gen. And save that. Okay, they should be in our downloads folder. Whoops, let's go to libraries, downloads, putty and putty gen. Perfect, right? We also want to create a share on C. Um, so I want to go to the C drive and we want to share, uh, create a share, new, um, new folder. I'm going to call this share and we want to properties, where's properties, there it is, oh, it's down the bottom, of course it is. I want to go into share and we want to click on share, rewrite administrators, That's what we want on advanced sharing. And we're going to share this folder. Its name is going to be share. And that. Oops, no, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Staging server share. Take note of this in our file. Um, slash slash staging server slash share. I can't remember whether the, um, just in case, I'm going to take it down the staging server slash share because I just can't remember off the top of my head whether the case will make a difference. So we've got that saved. That's good, so we've got our share. Right, so we want to generate our uh, our SSH keys now, and then we want to tell that in from this server. Okay, so we're ready for the uh, key pairs. We've got putty gen. So we're gonna run putty gen. Um, I'll just bring it in here, run that. Oh, it keeps diving to the middle. We're going to uh, generate. So you move your mouse around to make it move quickly. And that will generate our key pairs. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there we are, good. Okay, now I already went playing with this earlier, so there's a couple of key pairs already generated. Uh, get rid of the comment, uh, add a passphrase. I'm going to put Rob Garrett in there. And we're going to save the public key. So as you see, like I say, I was messing with this earlier. So I'm going to just overwrite that one. It'll say, sure, yep. And I'm going to save the private key. And again, I'm going to overwrite that one. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now we've got our key pairs, get rid of that. We need to create, why did we create a key pair? Well, the only way to get into a core OS machine is via SSH, uh, so you need your key pairs. So we have our public and private key pairs now. Now that we've done that, we need to create a cloud config, uh, yaml file or YML, which will guide our installation. I'm going to just start notepad there. 
So to do that, go into Notepad. Sorry, let me make this a bit smaller so it comes into our screen. Excellent. This is a very, what I would describe as a very pernickety or fiddly file. You have to be very, very, very careful writing this file. I'm sure there's ones out there on the web, um, but they will, oops, sorry about that. Um, they will need editing, obviously, for your particular situation, but they may well help guide you um, in terms of what you're doing. So I'm going to call this uh, machine Rob Garrett. Why not? Um, you need to tell us about the SSH authorized keys. Yep, it uses spaces for indents, no tabs. So two spaces there, minus, space again, SSH, RSA. Now we need our key. Okay, where are we going to find that? Well, let's go into our, uh, was I keeping it in here? Yeah, downloads. Take the public key. You can see it in here. I want to take all of that. I want to copy that, get rid of that, and paste it in. And I want to get rid of all of this from the equals equals. The equals equals there at the very end, by the way, are a 64-bit encoding overhead. Um, so we don't need that. Um, so, uh, not 64 bits, um, um, character recognition. Um, so, we now need to say core OS, but basically you don't need the equals equals. On core OS, we're now going to tell it our etc d, and the etc d has discovery, and that in part has HTTP. So where, where do you get this discovery file from? Well, again, you go to, very simply, um, you go to HTTPS uh, colon slash slash discovery.etcd.io slash new, and it returns you this, which is your unique code for your core OS implementation. So we're going to pop that in here. That saved me a bit of time. Okay. Once that's in, the last thing we need to do, like I said, you can't get into Core OS from the uh, console. So we need to say we're adding networking to this. So we say unit minus name. So this is adding a unit, it's adding a file. And we're going to call the file 10.static, uh, 10 minus static, sorry, dot network. And this is our static network. And it's runtime. Yes, we want you to run at runtime. Sorry about all these calls. Yes, we want to run it at runtime. We then want to tell it that the content in the file that we wanted to write, and we pipe the output to it. Watch these indents, by the way. You need to be very careful with these indents. And then we've got our file, just like we had before. Uh, en01, whoops, name equals um, en01. Um, network and the address of our network is 10.113.38.172 and its mask was 26 then we have root And the gateway 10.113.38.129, wasn't it? Yep. And then the destination 
is 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Perfect. Right, then we have our other address, and it's got to be the same indent level. 20 minus static dot network. This is why I call it the pernickety file. It has to be exactly in line. Uh, runtime, yep, only want to run that at runtime. Content, colon, pipe. And this time we're going to pipe in the other matching entries. So I've got those in a file already. So I'm going to paste them in. Match ENO2, perfect. Yeah, that's super. Okay, file, save as. And this is going to be in our share. So we want to go to C, share, and we're calling it cloud config.yml. Perfect. Okay, so we have our cloud config.yml. Now we need to go and mount this share because we got our networking going um, on our uh, core OS on software machine. We need to mount the share, get the YAML config file over, and basically we're there then. We just run the install. So join me again in a minute and let's go through the actual uh, mounting and installing.